Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to our Care to Watch. This is part of our Care to Christmas programming. And today we are going to make Christmas wreaths. Here's one that I'm, we made earlier. Here you go. Uh, my name's Danny. Hi, I'm Jen. I'm going to make some wreaths. Yes. So today in your packs that you received at the home, you would have received the bits to make your wreaths. So you should have one paper plate. I would use three pieces of green tissue paper and then you just need one sheet of red. Then we have a bow, a pair of scissors which should be in the home and a pen, some PVA glue to stick the tissue paper on, a sticky pad to put stick the, rib, uh, the bow on and then some ribbon which you can choose, to, um, there's five different designs that you can choose so then you can hang the ribbon up at the end, hang the reef up at the end. <laughs> so first things first, we are going to make a hole in the middle of the plate with the pen. So you just have to push it through like that, so then it makes the hole. Then we are going to cut through four times like this so then it's easy for us to make the circle about that I'd say just so you can stick enough green tissue paper on so then we will cut round It doesn't matter too much if it's not very neat because you can cover it up with the tissue paper. Ooh. Okay, you can tidy it up a little bit if you need to. Okay. So we can remove, we don't need the scissors anymore, and then we can remove that. Okay, so next thing we need to do is, on the PVA glue, you have the one that is, we need to cut the top off. Oh, yours is already done as well. So use the scissors and remove the top. You might need a little bit of help just because it's a little bit tough. So once that's off, then flip it the plate round and then doodle lots of glue. I just need to open mine a little bit more. Yeah, just to cover it all but not too much because we don't want to get it too wet. Jen, have you got any Christmas jokes? I I have actually. <laughs> uh, what says? Oh oh oh. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Santa walking backwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next thing we need to do. So we need to get the green tissue paper and rip it up to make roughly about that size. If we do that with all, piece, all of the three um, sheets of green and put it in a pile. Okay, I may have a Christmas joke up my sleeve. Yes. What is Santa's favourite singer? Yeah, who is, who is Elvis Presley. 
<laughs> okay, so once that's all scrunched up, we are then ready to stick it onto the plate. So what you need to do is just scrunch it up. It doesn't really matter how big or small you do it. And just stick it all over the glue to cover up the plate. If there's any gaps, then you can go around the whole lot and then you can fill it in with any paper that you have left. If there's any big bits of glue, you can spread it across with the paper. I might hang this on my front door. Or you could give it as a gift. Oh, looking good. If you need any extra glue, then do put it on. We just don't want to get it too wet, just in case it gets a bit too soggy the paper plate. It would be great if you'd send us some of the pictures, if you'd upload them to the Daily Diaries, we'd love to see them. Yeah, it'd be great. I'm almost done. I've not got too much just on the outside, yeah. There will be spare tissue paper if you do need it but three pieces should be enough especially just to cover up any of the paper plate that might show to get the red tissue paper and we need to do the same thing but we need about four pieces I would say to do it about that sort of size because we don't want them to be too big on there but it's personal preference so if you want them smaller for the pieces of holly then you can do them smaller or bigger to use the glue again so I'm going to put dots where I want them roughly I'm doing four okay Here's mine. <laughs> and then put scrunch up the red and just push it quite hard into the green to make sure it sticks and do that on each piece, bit of glue that you've stuck on, you put on. So it should roughly look like that at the moment. If there's any little dangly bits you can use the glue just to stick it back together because we don't want it to fall down when we lift it up. Yeah, really good. Okay, so now we're going to get our bow and if you keep on the gold little bit, 
then it will just keep, so keep it secure together. So just keep that on. And then you want to put it wherever, wherever you want to put it on the, so it'll go at the bottom of the reef, or it can go at the top. It's really up to you where you want to put it. I'm going to put it at the bottom. Okay, so decide where you want to put it. Then we're going to get our sticky, our little sticky pads and peel it off. And then fold it back on each other. Then they are really, really sticky. Then put them on the reef like that with the bow on top and then push it down and then that will just secure it okay so that's that then we can pick brilliant then we can pick which ribbon we are going to use um, to hang it up I'm going to use a stripy one because I really like that one so cut maybe about 40 centimeters of the ribbon which one are you going to go for um i think i might have the snowflake one nice okay so then just wrap it around the top like that and do tie a little bow and then tie it again so it pulls tight. And then you can just check again just to make sure you're happy with all the green tissue paper. I'm just gonna put that bit there. Okay, and then here we go. Here are our homemade reefs. <laughs> they can be hung up in windows or on if you've got any hooks um, that are already or some picture frames that are in the in your home um, you can hang them on the corners um, on door handles wherever really wherever you want to put them they're really really pretty we hope you enjoyed our care to christmas today and have fun making these